The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, the video game is a fighting game based on Cartoon Network's television series of the same name. It was developed by High Voltage Software and published by Midway. The PlayStation 2 version's DVD compatibility feature came with behind-the-scenes footage and the Season 1 episode Little Rock of Horror. Midway announced the game on February 15, 2005 and released it in September 2006 for the GameCube and PlayStation 2, and in the following November as a Wii launch title. Storyline Someone breaks into Grimm's trunk and releases his mojo balls, causing everyone in Ennsville to be infected by supernatural rage and senselessly fight each other. Following a suspicious trail of chicken feathers, Billy, Mandy, Grimm, and Irwin travel to various locations from the series such as the Underworld, the Pumpkin Patch, and even Billy's backyard to simultaneously recover the mojo balls and find out who released them. After defeating a brain-eating meteor that crashes in Billy's backyard, Billy reveals he was the one who opened Grimm's trunk hoping to free Mo and Joe. The curse Grimm had put on the trunk as a failsafe measure had caused Billy to begin sprouting chicken feathers, which he had been leaving a trail of so he wouldn't get lost. The other characters are infuriated at Billy, who is beaten up by Mandy during the credits. Gameplay. The gameplay heavily mirrors that of the Power Stone series and Shrek Super Slam. In the game, you can execute light and heavy style attacks. Gameplay includes multiplayer, solo, and co-op story mode and mission mode. Different weapons are scattered through all the levels, such as a halberd or a club. Treasure chests contain items including weapons, healing items, and mojo balls that restore the player's mojo meter. When the mojo meter fills once, a mojo smackdown can be performed where the character attacks the opponent with a barrage of punches, kicks, and slaps, and finally a piledriver. When the mojo meter fills twice, a mojo meltdown can be performed, instantly knocking out all opponents. An opponent is not fully defeated until their lives are depleted and the player or another opponent attacks them, triggering a finishing blow sequence. In story mode, the game culminates with a battle against the brain eating meteor from Little Rock of Horrors. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cast and Characters. The game features 15 full playable characters along with 5 bonus horde characters. In-game enemies given a limited playable moveset. The TV series voice cast reprise their respective roles with the exception of Jack, who is voiced by Maurice Lamarckie in place of his original actor Wayne Knight. Weird Al. Yankovic voices the in-game announcer. Carida, Horde character. Reception The game received fair to positive reviews. GameSpot's Greg Muller gave it a 6.6.10, saying that while it is fun for the first few hours and has fast paced gameplay, the game action gets old quickly and has a very short story mode. IGN's Mark Bozen gave the game a good score of 7.2.10, highlighting its presentation and appeal. Bozen later gave the Wii version a 6.8. Okay. Rating, calling it a solid game with minimal Wii advantages and a few technical limitations. Metacritic gave the game a rating of 61 one hundredths based on 10 critic reviews.